Once you have placed your vinyl stencil on, you're going to notice that you've got a lot of glass showing. Never take the chance because even though it takes 15 minutes to give you a beautiful even etch, one second of the cream on your glass and you will have a spot. So make sure that you take just contact paper, your ordinary contact paper, cut strips, and you're going to overlap them. You're going to go one, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you're going to make a well by pinching your corners with your vinyl. You can even turn down a strip so that it actually holds. You're going to do this all the way around all four of your corners. If, as you can see, you've got a little bend here, you can just make a little pleat in your vinyl. Now you have made a well. So when you put your cream on, it will never run over into your glass. Now that you have your pattern on, you've secured your contact paper to make your well, you're ready to take out your etch all, E-T-C-H-A-L-L, -L, your cream. You'll notice in sometimes on some of the tutorials, you'll see different colors of cream. When you first get it, it's nice and white. Then it goes to caramel, to dark chocolate, to even licorice. It is still workable and usable. So don't throw it away. And remember, it's reusable, that you can use it over and over and over. This is your squeegee. It is a very important little tool because this is going to smear and blend down all of your product. Start up at one corner, two hands. Do not pour a little bit on, put it down and come back. Always have it in your hand so that you can put it on. You want to put it on thick and you want to put it on as quickly as you possibly can because here again, it starts activating immediately. Are you ready? I am. Let's go. Pour. And then you start smearing. See how I'm going? And I'm smearing it around, catching it, catching it quick, 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 quick. On, on, on. You see how thick it is? Down to those initials, back over. Now you've got it down and you think, wow, use that much? Absolutely. Remember, you can never use too much, just too little. And again, it's reusable. When you put it down, you've got it all. Leave it alone. Except what you do want to do is just go back and you're not moving. You're just pouncing very gently in case there are any air bubbles when you poured. So you just push, push, push very, very gently. Then you leave it alone. Come back in 15 minutes and we'll show you the next step. Now that you're ready to take off, pinch a little part so that you've got a pour spout. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel right off and I'm going to put it right back into my jar. You just, because it, it doesn't hurt if you touch the glass now because it's already etched. All you're going to do is concentrate to get as much of the cream back into your jar for reuse. See how I'm pulling it from every direction? And it's going right into the jar because I've got that pour spout. I go from all angles wherever I see it starting to come down and I'm pulling it and pulling it and pulling it. In all the little corners and crevices and putting it in and turning my squeegee so that I can get it into that jar. Now sometime you're going to miss your jar a little bit. That's okay because ha, ha, then you have to buy more etch all. No I'm just teasing. You can just keep it keep it going in and see how easy it is just to get it down in to all of your corners and creases. Wipe your squeegee every now and then. Again, it does not hurt, but do you see why you would have to have your pinched corners? And you get it in, put it down, 
Now I'm almost getting down to the point that I've got off about as much as I can save, get in these little key creases and corners, pull around, pick it down, put it back in, put it back in. It's good to the last drop. Here's some down in this little corner. Get that out, get it out. Okay, I think I've saved as much as I can. The next thing we're gonna do is we'll rinse it off. Now that you've got all of your cream, remember, never ever take off your outside paper or your cream until you have rinsed it. Now this is a utility sink at the office. But the thing that it is, if you're at home, remember you may not use a porcelain sink. Etch all edges glass, mirror, marble, slate, and china. Always keep rinsing your hands. Now then I'm going to put this in like this. I'm going to be rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. And you see how it goes off? Like this, I'm gonna take my hand. All right, I'm gonna wash my hand because I have got to get underneath my vase. It's a very heavy vase. And I want my hands to be clean. So I'm going to rinse, rinse, rinse. Now you can see we've got all of the cream off in all the little crevices in the end. See how your fold is? Now then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and have my water behind. Okay, it's going to be behind. And I'm going to be peeling this off under the running water. This would not be one of your first pieces. Whoops! It's slippery that you would be doing. This is a large and a very heavy vase. When you're rinsing, the hotter the water, the better. Now, as you can tell, we're doing this in the sink at the hive at www.etchall.com. See how the hot water, your, your water is peeling from behind. And you go over here and take your little pick tool and you're loosening it. And as your water is running, you're taking it and peeling off your paper. Now you're saying, gosh, it's so sticky. If it wasn't sticky, you wouldn't have the beautiful cut lines that you want to have. When you get enough coming off, then you can just grab it and peel it down. Once again, going behind your paper and peeling it off. This is starting to get exciting because now you can start seeing your letters and what you have etched. It is such fun. From this you can see why people charge big bucks for things like this and yet you can make it in your own home. You can use any of your cutting machines and your etch-all. That's all you need. Any of your designs, even if you're going to cut it yourself by using your swivel blade knives. This is just a very simple project where you put on your pattern that's been cut, put on your cream, take it off, wash it off, take all of your pieces off, and when you, oops, you have water in it, like this now, these little pieces, that you just under one in water, you just take those and pick them off. We're almost getting down to the part that it's gonna be so exciting that you can see the finished project, okay? This is going to be for a very special lady and her husband that are getting married. Let's st stop and turn off the water. Now here we are, and I'm gonna make you wait in suspense because I'm gonna dry off the part of the vase, even going on the inside. Did it, did it, did it etch, did it etch? Did it etch, did it etch? Oh, look, look, look. <gasps> oh, look at that, isn't that my. gorgeous? And you did it all by yourself. And it's still damp. So you just blow on it and look at your pattern. 
You want to dry, 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 get all the water off. Oh, I can oh, see it. Can oh, you see it? I can. Here we are. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely oh, beautiful. Oh my goodness. What a lovely wedding piece. That is not just a wedding gift. That is an heirloom to be passed down and used every anniversary for years and years and years to pass down from grandma to great grandma to all of the grandkids that they can say, look at this. Have fun. Remember, you can do this by getting your etch all etching cream at www.etchall.com.